because I thought, you know what, you can't be protected enough. And I, I didn't want to have to go through the whole installation of like running wires and dealing with all that stuff. You don't have to do that with this. This is a two pack. You're going to get two of these. What makes these different is that not only are they going to give you the alerts when you have smoke in the house, but also the stuff you don't see, which is the carbon monoxide, which is even more dangerous because it's the silent killer. You never even know where it's coming from. So you get two of these. Okay. So let me give you a little bit of information because Lori's going to tell you the best part about these in just a sec. More than 2,400 Americans die each year and fires. 13,000, over 13,000 are injured. A working smoke alarm can double your chances of survival. That's just smoke. Now remember, the carbon monoxide is that one. It's, it's the silent killer. You can't see it. And if, you know, heaven forbid, so, you know, uh, you've got a device or something that's, that's leaching that into your house, you'll never even know it hits you. So what's wonderful about these two is you see 10-year battery. I'm going to let Lori come out and deliver that surprise to you because one of the biggest hassles. Hi, darling. Hi, how are you? One of the biggest hassles that people deal with is the what we call the chirp, uh, chirp. awful chirping. Chirp, chirp. And then it's like, okay. Three in the morning. Well, Why the, is it always three in the morning? And the chirping makes me feel old because I don't know which one's chirping. <laughs> so I go to this one. And then now I'm like, no, baby, it's, it's it that one. I don't know. I mean, that's everybody. Right. You will never, never ever. ever ever have to put batteries in this. Never, ever. ever. So this is including a 10-year battery that's built right awesome. in. I'm going to show you how you start the clock on your 10-year battery, but this is First Alert. So the premier, most prestigious brand when it comes to home safety and home fire protection and prevention. You are going to love this. It is really a true situation in this country that a lot of Americans are underprotected. Right. We can use more. So you said you're adding more to your home. Yeah. And what I love about this is easy to install. We'll talk about that in a moment. But look at this. You are going to save so much money because you're never replacing those batteries. You never hear the chirp chirping. And then you never do this. Whenever you do hear that chirp chirping, you just want to hit it with a broom handle or you want to make it stop, yeah, right? right? So your family can either go back to yeah. sleep or get on with your lives. When do you get up there and realize, oh my gosh, it's a specialty battery I don't have on hand, right? right? Yeah. So then, while you've taken the battery out, now your home and your family is unprotected. Right. Instead of dealing with that, this has that 10-year battery built right in. You so never, it's always good to go. You never have to worry about it. And I've done that. I've actually taken the battery out and forgot to replace it for like weeks at a time. And Oops. you're like, oh my gosh. Right. So what's nice about this too, and, and remember, this is one that you monitor yourself. You don't have to hook this up to any existing, so there's no wiring that you exactly. deal with. Exactly. This is going to do the, basically what it needs to do, which is it's going to make a very loud alarm when it detects this, the smoke or it detects the carbon monoxide, and that's going to wake you and your family up and give you the chance to get out of that house before it's too late. And that's what it's all about. You know, we, we talk about, we, we've got people that work here, those families have been in fires, oh, people yeah. that have passed, that, have, that, are, that are friends and neighbors. We all know somebody, this is a way to give yourself extra protection. If you're a senior out there right now and you think your system's enough, maybe you don't want to buy this. I, I was of the, of the thought that, you know what? How there's not enough protection you can get against this. Well, exactly. When I think of the other side of the coin of what could happen, not only not only the injury that can happen to you or your pets or your sure. kids or all that, but your home and your belongings, and then having to go to a hotel Ugh. and wait—I mean—and live through all that. You know, it's, it's a, you know, a little bit of prevention. You know, and it's going to really, really, really help you out. Um, the price today is twenty dollars off, so you have a discount coming out of the gate. These are customer pick; everybody loves them. Yeah, they're and great. They're only nineteen ninety nine to get them home, and as I said, you'll get both. So so, Lori, you could put one maybe on your main floor. If you have, depends on how many floors you have. Right. right? So the guideline is one on every floor. Yeah. Also in the walking areas, so the walkways leading into every bedroom and inside of every bedroom. I would also have one near my kitchen, not inside my kitchen, but near my kitchen. Right. Um, and I choose to keep one near my laundry room too, because you know lint can sometimes catch on fire, and that can be a scary situation. Sure. But this is preventing against both the silent killer, which is carbon monoxide, and smoke. So, like you said, with carbon monoxide poisoning, you don't even know what's happening. You just start to feel kind of like flu-like like symptoms. Mm -hmm. You can't see it. You can't smell it. You can't you fall taste it. And they never wake up. That's right. That's and over 40,000 Americans every year are hospitalized it's with terrible. carbon monoxide yeah. poisoning. It happens at home more than any other type of poisoning. And here's what you're replacing in your home. So this is both a carbon monoxide and a smoke detector. And now you're replacing it with this sleek little unit. Or maybe you're not going to replace. Maybe you're simply going to add to the smoke detectors you have in your home. As I was saying a minute ago, Ameri Americans are severely underprotected in their homes. 
The National Fire Protection Association says three in five home fire deaths happen in homes that don't have working smoke detectors. Yeah, crazy. And you are twice as likely to die in a home fire if your smoke detectors don't work. So that's one of the things we love about the 10-year battery. There's no maintenance. Right. Right? And the right. other great thing about First Alert is the fact that it's so easy. So you have this little plate. It just slides right off. So this is what you install with two screws. We even inclu include okay. the anchors for you in this little it package. Is, that's the installation kit. This is all you need to do. And please read <laughs> our know, customer easy. reviews. We have people in their 60s, 70s, 80s saying yeah. they're doing it themselves. They're not calling a handyman. Here's where you flip on your First Alert. So the, for the very first time out of the box, you turn it on. You can actually set this to the location where you're placing it. Okay. You can choose from over 12 different locations in your home. Once you flip the switch to on now, your 10-year clock has started. Okay. But let's go ahead and listen to it. Are you ready? It's yeah, super I loud. Yeah, back a little bit? You might want to. Yeah, it's really loud. So 85 decibels and clearly announcing where the problem is in your home so that you can go around it. So if it's fire, if it's carbon monoxide, either way. So this is sort of long. Bear with me. Testing, she says. Real loud siren. Yeah, that's pretty loud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd wake you up. That'll wake you up. It's like somebody beep beeping a horn. Walk in the child's bedroom. Evacuate. You know where the problem is. Oh, see, and you're being great. told to evacuate. Perfect. There's more. Is there more There's coming? more. Warning. Evacuate. Carbon monoxide in the child's bedroom. Evacuate. See, and you know... Oh, good. And here's zero. Yeah. So it just did a monitoring and a reading and, of this and studio. Test you. Right, wow. and it says zero. But isn't that powerful? Well, and what we love about the talking alarm is not only do you know you're not chasing the beep all over the house right. like you were, yes. you know where the problem is so you can get around it and out of your house. Yep. And also, children are more likely to wake up when they hear the spoken word. First it, Alert did right. their research on this. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, adults wake up when they hear alarms, but children are more likely when they hear voices. Right, right. anybody that's great? gone to wake up a kid and you talk to them and they're not, they don't even move. It's like, right. you know, like when I said goodbye to Danny this morning, pretty much just dead man laying there in bed. And I'm, you know, but, but if you talk to them after... The, the yeah, siren yeah, plus the voices will wake are, up more people. Then they wake up and, it, and it's, it's a great deal. So, mm -hmm. listen, um, again, <clears throat> you know, we don't get to offer this very often in the combo with both uh, bits of protection. <clears throat> it sure would be a, a total uh, a, a tragedy when you think about it a tragedy if if you have a bunch of smoke detectors in and somebody gets sick or dies from carbon monoxide poisoning because oh you gosh. forgot to get that right it's very important if you have a system that can get both uh, do this Lori showed you the ease of installation which is a couple of screws it comes off the wall very very easily although you would probably never unless you want to clean behind it which you probably wouldn't have to mm -mm. you'll never have to take this off the wall in 10 years okay mine i i pretty much the ones that i had the original ones and i still have them in there right you have to replace the batteries about every year okay at the pick give or take it takes and then once it happens and it starts chirping it's insane to try to figure out which one because i have three of the originals and now i have two of these right so they cover the entire house maybe you've got a, uh, a finished basement and you know you remember when you have a house built <laughs> you don't have to put uh necessarily put smoke alarms in places that aren't living spaces like a garage or things like that right or an attic you know there's nobody up there why would you so a lot of people finish those off. My brother has a finished attic. He's got a whole sports thing up there. Nice. He went for the man attic instead of the man cave. <laughs> More room up there. But anyway, um, so you can put those in and know that you're being protected and you're monitoring yourself. And I'm always a big fan of that, you know, with, with Arlo and some of the other systems that protect us from theft and burglary. Right. You're the best gatekeeper, realistically, yeah, for sure. and you have to be able to rely on yourself. You know, you're not going to have firemen sitting in your uh, sitting in your driveway every day waiting for something to happen. You need to call them and get them there. You're the one that has to be the one that saves right. you. So uh, this is a way to invest in that. Um, and as we said, as far as installing, it takes probably 30 seconds to put each one of these up, and then you know you've got 10 years right. to rest these. Right, 10 years. So I've got a three-year-old right now. By the time I have to replace my first alerts, he'll be a teenager. That's crazy to think. And here's what I would suggest doing. Just test this every once in a while maybe on january 1st and 4th of july just press the button but the really great thing about first alert is not only integrating that 10-year battery into this so you never hear the chirp chirping you never have the expense of replacing batteries ever again but this is that 10-year alarm so a lot of the alarms out there and we they don't tell you this i learned just when i was doing my research about first alert as a brand they only have efficacy for about 10 years and then they start to drop off and become less and less reliable so you're getting that two-in-one smoke and 
and carbon monoxide alarm. Voice location tells you so you know what the problem is, where it is, so you can get out of your home in time. You have a 10 year alarm with a 10 year warranty. So here's what I hope you're doing here today. Even if you're not picking up these first alerts, I hope that we're providing you enough information that you go around through your home right now and just yeah. make sure that all your smoke detectors are working properly. I ended up having two in my house and I only had one that was working. Right. And I bought a new house, but it was a 20 year old house, new to me, and none of the uh, smoke detectors have ever been had ever been replaced at that time. So I actually ended up replacing mine with first alert. But you can add to the ones that you do have. Yeah. And you don't have to necessarily put this up on the ceiling. You can hang it up on a wall or on a ceiling. So if you're a person who doesn't want to get up on a ladder, this might be a nice solution for you. And again, two in one. So smoke and carbon monoxide, you're getting two of them. One of these is the same as these two big giant right. devices. Yeah, and I, you know, you don't want to put, I don't want 15 different things hanging up off the wall there that are like. This oh, just looks know. a lot sleeker. Well, yeah, and, and it's, it's it's very low <laughs> profile against the wall. So so you do get two of them. So you're really getting a lot of protection right there. We have some people that are buying a couple of packs. Maybe you've got kids, grandkids, whatever it is. Maybe you got a kid in school. Right, and you're like, you know what? This is good because I can just pop it on his wall exactly. and make sure that he's taken care of. He can take it with him. You know, the the real thing to this and the key to this is that carbon monoxide detection. Absolutely. That's, I mean, you know, most of us we would hope could wake up, would smell smoke, and it would be in time, and blah blah. blah. <coughs> but the carbon monoxide doesn't really give you much warning. You just you kind of just pass out. So um, that's a really good investment to have both of those working for you at the mm -hmm. same time. You're never going to have to buy batteries again. And those are expensive. These are expensive. If That's it's the specialty good. batteries, you probably oh don't God. have these on hand, so I you know. would be unprotected, and it's going to cost a yeah. lot of money. Not with a 10-year battery. And, and you know what the best part is? What? No more chirping. No more chirping at 3 in the I morning. I feel like an old person running around trying to find chirping Where alarms. It? It's Where not this it? one. It's that one. <laughs> Whatever, you won't deal with that anymore. Uh, uh, if you don't again. pick it up today, at least think about it again. Maybe buy it the next time <laughs> you're in town. Thank you so Thank much, Thank you, Lori. such you're a pleasure. Awesome. Good to have see a good you time always. on your vacation. I Thank know you're going you. away. Thank you. I gotta get rid of this cough, but I'm gonna have some fun. Go get it. Thank you. All right. Hey, right now, guess what you can do? You can save up to 20% <laughs> off on select smart home items. You know, we can't all be super smart, but our, our homes can be smart, and that makes us smart. So if you'd like to pick it up, uh, you get 20% off. And another thing I wanted to tell you about <clears throat> is that when you're shopping with us today, we have a, a VIP savings event going on, which is gonna give you 20% off Excuse me, $20, so it's, hold on, Jerry, let me understand. So it's 20% for the first one, and now $20? Some jamming music going on in here. So here's the deal. If you spend $99 or more on your HSN card, guess what? You get another $20 to spend automatically. That's today uh, only. It's our VIP event, and you can use it as many times as you want. So 99, do it again, 99, do it again. You're gonna do, heck, you could save a million dollars if you just shopped forever. Uh, and you could do it. Fill your card at hsn.com, so take advantage of that. One of the great deals that we have today. All right, so uh, I will tell you, uh, back in the day, I won't go tell you how long ago, but back probably, 